Welcome back everyone to 574 and more. Today we're playing a little get to know you game where the person in that chair has a list of questions and they're going to ask us. We write our answers down right here to the best of our ability. Whoever has the most points, or sorry, whoever has the least amount of points has to get part of their body wet. So the goal is to answer the questions the best we can so that we get as many points as possible so we don't have to get our legs wet. You do not want to be the one with the lowest amount of points because I've heard nothing but bad things about getting waxed. Got my eyebrows waxed, it's not fun. Mm. Um, so we should mention the fact that uh, basically all the lists are going to start with a little bit with more basic questions. Uh, you know, questions that we would all at least kind of know the answer to, get pretty close. Um, and then as we progress down the line, we're going to get more and more advanced, maybe things we've only mentioned once or twice. We have all of our lists on our phones, and so uh, we'll whip up our phone and So, question number one. my first question, <clears throat> I have two middle names, what are they? Do I have to spell it right, because I don't say it. Tony, reveal your answer. Yeah, James Warner. Yeah. Jake, I are we? On camera, James Warner people. We both went James Warner, too. Oh. We know it's going to Look at that. Good job. All right. Can I spell all of your name right? Now, hold on. So, so all three of you got one point. That is one point for each of you. Um, However, my second question, how do you correctly spell the second one? I like that one. This, I like my that second one. middle name. Is that it? Oh, that's do the second want, question. That is oh, the okay. second question. I can almost guarantee that none of them are going to get this right. Probably not. <laughs> uh, wait, good? No, I'm just going to go left. All right. Okay. All right. All of you have your answer? Yes. Tony, reveal your answer. <laughs> the way you pronounce it is kind of... That ain't it, Chief. <laughs> that ain't it. Uh, well... <laughs> good try, good attempt, but no. I'll go with the classic, just W-A... Yeah, no. See, that's what I thought. That's, I mean, like, I knew it wasn't... I, so here, I'm gonna I'm gonna spell it out for the people at home here. What? There's what? An I? I I knew there was. Oh, yeah. Warner. Definitely did not think there was an I. Warner. The way he said it, it made me think. If I would have changed my E to an I, I would have had it right. I was very close. Wait, is there two R's there? It's double R. Yeah, three. double R I. Dang, I was off by one letter. So next question. So number three. How many years are between me and my older brother? The hint. It is the exact same age gap between me and my little sister. Kelly, how are you doing today? <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> Jake's got math, his math going on the side there. Quick, quick maths. Alright. Three different so, answers. Yeah, so... Here's the thing. Read off the right now. So we have 24 years old for Tony, 23 years old for Jake. Get out of here, fly. 25 years old for Alex. Yeah, 23. Currently, Jocelyn is seven years behind me, but when I turn 18, she'll be eight years behind me. Sorry. So, but the thing is, my brother is currently 25. So, okay. oh, one point for Jake. And two points for Alex. Fourth question. What year did I move here? Did I move to Osceola? But Is this whoever's closest? Yes. All right. Are we ready, though? Well, yeah, so everybody reveal your answers. So we have 2003, 2009, 2006. I know you're wrong because I met Monty in third grade. Oh. Tony's is the closest. I moved here in 2001 when uh, I was only one uh, year old. Uh, I knew, I knew it was early. My mom, my mom and dad didn't want to live in Niles with a kid, so they, so they moved out to Osceola when I was a wee lad. Dang. So my, this would be number five. On my 12th birthday, I nearly ruined my party by doing. No, 
anybody, if I'm ever at someone else's house, I always joke around like, oh, better be careful. Alright. Alright. Three, two, one, reveal your answers. I don't remember. <laughs> and I was there. Okay. So Tony's answer is, you broke something. Jake had is, had to go to the hospital. And Alex's is found the presence. So, here's the thing. Technically, Tony's is the only one that even applies. So, on my 12th birthday, on 12th birthday? 12th birthday, I went out into the garage because we were looking for, uh, for stuff, like, for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And having no idea what it did, I pulled the emergency cord to my garage door while it was open. Uh, that's <laughs> right, you have told me that. Yeah. And... It slid and it sh and it almost broke. Like like it basically bent downwards and was like like about ready to come off the track. But luckily we were able to put it back up right before the birthday party. And so it technically didn't ruin it, but it came very close. I was in a lot of trouble. Alright, so three, one, two. Alright. So for my sixth this is this one is is easier, I guess it should have probably been up higher on the list. What are some of my favorite movies. Some or a. Yeah, one of, one of my favorite movies. Okay. All right, let's just go. All right, reveal your answers. Spider-Man: Homecoming, Revenge of the Sith, the and original Matrix. Okay, the first so Matrix. La La Land. So I'm La La Land, cause I'm pretty sure that. So really okay, the first Matrix is the only good one. I know. Okay, he's not wrong. You can at me at that. Um, I know that the Matrix. So Spider-Man: Homecoming. Movie. By far, my favorite Marvel movie ever. Like, so even Infinity War didn't top it. At least for me, just because of how much I love it. Understandable. <sighs> Revenge of the Sith is in like the top fifty percent of the of Star Wars movies, and it's even in like the top seventy five percent of Dang. Star Wars movies. <laughs> but it's not my favorite Star Wars movie Dang. because I just realized I've given you my entire Star Wars lineup before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, Revenge of the Sith was like up there. Oh, it is. It's like it's like top three, top yeah. top three. Cause I cause I I love Revenge of the Sith, but so but so but that's not necessarily a terrible answer. Okay. So, <laughs> La La Land and The Matrix. Oh, so I will give Alex one point because he got two movies that I mean both of them were pretty like okay everybody knew that but either way he guessed two of them so. One point to Alex. So, three, one, three, right? Four, one, Are you three. giving that one point to him? No, I'm not going to give you a point for Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah, since he got two. Since he got two of them. Well, I would have put down a second movie if I would have got two of them, right? Wait, that's why I asked that question. You, you know, I told you that. I said, if you put down a second one and you get it right, I will give you that. But if you but if you get one wrong, then... That's fair. All right, seven questions. Oh, wait, second question. So, three, seven, one, three. Oh, Jeez. Seven. Alright. Wow, I thought I knew it better <laughs> than I apparently do. Alright, so this one it's this one has it's a double set kinda like the kinda like the one, you know, with my middle name and then how do you spell it? But true or false. I chipped my tooth when I was little. Smile. That's a knee slap. Alright, reveal your answers. Hey, good job. Okay, so they they, they all yeah, come true. I was going to say how. Of course. So, no. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the next question. So, eighth question, what was I doing when it happened? Or rather, what caused me to chip my tooth? Were you doing something, or was it something that caused it? That's the question. That could be a I have told the exact story before, okay. multiple times. I know where it was, but I don't remember where And then on this one, it's going to be whoever gets the closest to the specifics of it will get the point. Okay. So, so it's kind of a it's kind of a good or bad thing because if you try to go too specific and you're just wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I just had it. Uh, if you try to go too specific and you and you're wrong, then you lose. No, it doesn't. No. Okay. But if you go really broad, you 
might just be you might be able to be like, hey, I said it, and then you're the only one. Right, Killian? You can't see, but he's he's nodding behind the camera. Yes, there's two people. I think that's specific enough. I think you can just say it because you're running out of room. All right. All right. Everybody, reveal your answers. So, you tripped and fell. <laughs> Mine is a little bit more specific than that. Fell on the cement. Yeah. Mine is true. Novel. You were in your room and someone threw a blanket over your head and you ran into the wall. What kind of story yeah. is that? Um. What's the so correct answer? None of you get a point. But what is the correct answer? So, I was with my childhood friend, Elijah, right. and we were messing around in his yard with a ball, and I, I, I threw it, and then I was going to run after it, and he got to it first, but I went to dive on top of him, and his head went up as fast yeah. as it could, and it hit me in the jaw, oh. and my tooth shattered. Luckily, it was a baby tooth. So, eighth, wait, I All guess right. this is ninth question, sorry. What two occupations do I brag about my second cousins have? I have two second cousins, and uh, I constantly brag about their occupations that they're in, because I think it's some of the coolest stuff I've ever heard. What are they? The other uh, I will mention, though, the, I, the fact that I wasn't allowed to, that I felt like I might not be able to share, is a hint towards one of them. The second one, actually, you can find on public record very easily. Are we all good? Yeah, Everybody have an answer? Yeah. Three, two, one, reveal. Works in retail and sends you clothes. Work for that's his uncle. Works for the FBI slash military. Military, something to do with movies. I know he works in the FBI. He's like a forensics detective, isn't he? Yeah. So one, which so Jake, you military question mark kind of. I remember that he does something really specific in the military. That's really cool. Oh, the the tech stuff. That's my brother. That's his brother. Yeah, no. So no. So one. Is in the FBI. Okay. One of my one of my second cousins is in the FBI, and the second one is actually the chief of police here in Mishawaka. I wouldn't have gotten that one. But here's the thing, Alex. One one of it is like a detective, and then FBI. Is that supposed to be separate? Yeah. Because I know one of them was a forensic detective, and then I remember you saying FBI. I thought maybe one of them was like a hacker for some reason. <laughs> like an okay, I don't know. Well, let's go. So I guess okay. Technically, Alex got closer because he had two in law enforcement. I think Tony gets one point. Alex gets two. Okay. Are you sure about that? Because that yeah. means you're trailing behind hard. Yeah. So, so what is it? Five, two, six. Yeah. This is number ten. This is final question. Oh, this is the final question. Did I have a cockatoo as a pet? And if so, what was its name? Good. Are we ready? Everybody have an answer? Yep. Three, two, one. All right, reveal. There was no cockatoo. His name was Harvey. Alex is right. It's, I know. I, yeah. I'll, although I will explain. We, we inherited the bird for like, I want to say, four or five months. Harvey is actually a Harvet because after yeah. 13 years, we found out it he is right. actually a she I do when she laid an Harvey. egg. All right, so that was the end of my turn as the czar in the chair. Um, we're actually going to be splitting up these videos into uh, four different parts. Four different parts. So uh, this was the first part. Stay tuned. Watch the next episode to see who gets whacked.